Brooklyn Independent Television. Hi, I'm Brian Vines, and welcome to Brooklyn Review. This month marks the 40th anniversary of Earth Day, and to celebrate, we've taken the show out of the studio and devoted half of this episode's stories to Brooklyn keeping Earth Day every day. First up, the new Pier 1 at Brooklyn Bridge Park is open, and it's giving visitors an excuse to stay a little bit longer on this side of the East River. Our Jenny Passe Rodriguez attended the ribbon cutting. Everybody ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hush, hush, this groundbreaking ceremony has been more than 20 years in the making. Governor David Patterson, Mayor Michael Bloomberg, and Brooklyn Borough President Marty Markowitz were among local officials at the opening of Brooklyn Bridge Park Pier 1. All our hard work has clearly paid off. There are a few places in the city, even in the world, I think, where you'll find a setting like the one at Pier 1. And as you know, for a long time, it was blocked off by parking lots and storage sheds that line this stretch of waterfront. But now we're opening up these views to everyone. For the last century, our cities are known for their brick and their mortar, their glass and their steel. But we've always found a way to connect with nature and have some greenery in our cities. And we, we have it here from Central Park to Van Cortlandt Park to Forest Park and to, as the mayor mentioned before, Prospect Park. Um, and after today, we can add to that list uh, Brooklyn Bridge Park. Once completed, the waterfront park will have 85 acres of multi-use playing fields, areas for water sports, and limited commercial developments, including residential properties and restaurants, opportunities for economic developments. Like Rome, this park wasn't built in a day, but I think it's proof that in life, good things come to those that wait. I have no doubt that this park will become a tourist destination as compelling for visitors as the Promenade, Coney Island, the New York Aquarium, the Brooklyn Museum, and of course the Brooklyn Bridge itself. I represented Carroll Gardens for a long time and the folks in the community kept saying, let's find a way. Um, and now, finally it's working, which means that there'll be jobs created by the actual building of the park. Again, for people who need a place, you know, a green place, a special place to go, it's going to be an incredible opportunity, especially in a bad economy. What's amazing is, despite the bad economy, this got done. The city and the state got on the same page. They found a way to put the money together, and it's going to be worth every penny. $55 million in additional funds from the city, to be exact. And as partners in the building of the park, the Brooklyn Bridge Park Development Corporation's main focus was environmental sustainability. It's really important to have a park that's sustainable and um, we've used all these great recycled materials to build our park and moving forward we're doing, uh, we're taking special measures to make sure that we are sustainable in the future. For instance, we've built a stormwater retention system that collects all the rainwater um, to water our park and, you could, and that is underneath all of our park land and it's really, really important as we build into the 21st century to take the um, environment into account. This is a recycled park from start to finish. When we think about it, the site is recycled. It used to be shipping piers that fell into this use. So we've recycled the, the site into a great park. The hill that we're standing on is made of recycled stone as they dug out the east side access tunnels to bring trains in from Long Island into uh, Grand Central Station. Um, that stone is the foundation of these hills. The beautiful granite steps over here are from the Roosevelt Island Bridge. I know it's one of those buzzwords, but you know, the carbon footprint of this project is dramatically less than it would have been if the park was built 10 or 15 years ago. For instance, these poles, you know, that we're looking at here, these are all, this is actually wood from uh, the, the forests of New Jersey and Pennsylvania as opposed to South American hardwoods. The next phase of Brooklyn Bridge Park, which is Pier 6, is set to open later in the spring. For more information on programs and events at the park, visit brooklynbridgepark.org. For Brooklyn Review, I'm Jenny Passe Rodriguez. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.